So, Ashley went to a spin class this morning. We'll find out um, how that went. Good news is we just booked our one-way flight to Europe. Let's go! We'll be posting content and blogs and vlogs and all of the things. Snap. I still use Snap. We have uh, three, I think I have two people that have over 350 consecutive days, which is a lot if you think about it. Um, that's two people. And then we broke one uh, with me and my buddy. It's always devastated when you break one, when you break a snap. If you're still using snap, brutal. It's heartbreaking. And I know Ash just broke hers with her sister. And I think she laid in bed for like a good 10 minutes. And was bummed about it. That's that. We're still gonna wait. But our flight, we leave May 22nd. It's right after a golf tournament. So I'm hoping that we win that golf tournament. If we do, I may not go to bed because our flight's at 6 a.m. on Sunday and we may celebrate. But we'll see what happens. But we're booked one way. Don't know when we're coming back. We don't know if we're coming back. Easy. All right, we'll check in when Ash gets here. All right, we're still waiting. So I'm wondering what she's going to say first. Is she gonna bring up the flight? Or is she gonna bring up the spin cycle class and how hot it was because she didn't know it was a hot spin? Or is she gonna thank me for picking her up? Or uh, D, none of the above. Hello. Hi, babe. Hi. Is this the vlog? This the vlog. Look at my hair. Just I just showered. People. Me too. You did too? Yeah, sure. shower before 8.30. Our water is going to turn out. Smart. Yeah, they, the one day I book a sweat spin class at 7.30, they're turning the water off at 8.30. Sweat spin. You didn't know it was sweat spin. I had no idea. I've never done that before. I've done hot yoga, but I sweat enough in spin as it is. It was brutal. It was very difficult. But it was good. That's good. I don't know if I'd go back knowing what I'm getting into. I think I got out got through it because I didn't know what to expect. It's difficult. Well, that's good. There's my core power. Oh, right there? Mm -hmm. Let's go eat to the inside. Bye-bye. All right, it says um, hour and a half. It's 9.26, that puts us at 11 o'clock. Good luck. Oh yeah, we're making progress. 10.05, half an hour in, we're up and running. Come on! Remember when I said it was an hour and a half? It took about four for this bad boy. But it turned out pretty good. Took some breaks, had to eat obviously, but not bad. Base is good. Fits four of my shoes. 11 and a half. Base. Ashes Burks. We get those little bed posts um, like you have for your bed for your risers. And you put it into those four little pegs. Put it up top, move it up about two inches. And then they have little screws that you go on the top of that. For now, we're going a little tilt and we'll let you know if anything falls. Ashley's posted about what to put up here. We gotta figure that out. But so far, so good. Good space. It was a ton of shoes if you saw before. Looks good now. Heading to Malibu to meet up with Kelsey to do a few looks. It is Thursday, but my whole schedule feels so off because we got back from Coachella on a Monday and just jumped right into work. But I just like, I feel off a whole day or something. It just feels weird but it's a beautiful day so that's exciting and shooting in Malibu seems to be one of our more productive places to shoot we always go we, we meet at the Malibu Country Mart because there's a lot of free parking and a lot of really good spots to shoot at so if you're ever looking for a spot to shoot I highly recommend going there and it's always fun to be back on the west side Brennan and I go back really frequently for living on the east side but it always feels like home even though it's not currently home right now. It's, what is it? It's the 21st, April 21st today, I think. And we, like we said, we booked our tickets for Italy. We leave on May 22nd. So we have one month to the day to figure out who is going to either sublease or take over our lease for us 
or we have the option, thankfully, to essentially drop our lease and let our apartment complex put the apartment back on the market. But every time I think about that, my heart feels so sad about it. I know we went into this apartment knowing it would be like an eight month lease but I love it so much that thinking about letting it go makes me kind of sad. But we also want to do loft living still. Like we really are craving that experience. So when we get back in September, our lease will be up anyways. So I'm like trying to tell myself no matter what. In theory, we'll never live in this apartment again, but it's just so good. I feel like we literally just got it to a place where it's like complete-ish. Like we haven't even got our mattress yet and we're potentially moving out forever in a month so it's weird weird feelings i've never i haven't been gone from a you know home for that long since study abroad because even when we did minnesota it was three months but we're gonna be gone for a solid four months and that's crazy so i told brennan last night it's like we're doing study abroad together which is obviously going to be 10 times better but i don't know weird vibes i feel weird i feel excited and happy and i like daydreaming about like our parisian european whatever wherever we go summer it's gonna be so incredible i know it but a little bit of my heart is like i don't know change does that to you it just makes you like excited but nervous so it's gonna be fun i can't wait to take you guys along with us so you can learn from whatever mistakes we might make <laughs> i'm gonna try and take you a little bit behind the scenes. I feel like I've never really done that on a, on a shoot day. Uh, not that there's like anything crazy that happens, but if I remember, I'll prop the camera up a few times to show how me and Kels get our favorite shots. Literally exact same. Are we surprised? No, we're the not. The twins strike again. We're not. Jerry rig. Is that the word? My mom calls it MacGyver. Oh, my mom says that too. Just got done shooting and it wasn't a terrible shoot day, but it definitely wasn't our most successful but it's fine or we're going to our friend's house for dinner tonight which is fun because they're friends that we've been like trying to have plans with for months and months and they something always comes up from either side so we finally found a night that will work which will be fun i think they're cooking us dinner at their house and just gonna have a chill evening i don't know what else to say that's all that's my update all right i made it home after an hour and, ha and a half in the car ran upstairs changed Dinner time. And Brennan's been editing the vlog all day. How's it going? Um, it's going. I feel like I was at Coachella. Oh. Seeing all the things. What's your hot take? Is uh, Coachella for you? No. Glad I wasn't there. <laughs> I love your outfit. Where? What's your shirt from? Thank you. Shirt's from Zara. It's so nice. Like a really nice fabric. I feel like we got this and you didn't wear it. And after that's we the got first it. time I wore it. It gets I a little wrinkly right away, but. Yeah, that's definitely the fabric for it's sure. The fabric. But it looks so nice on you. It's like a, a forest state. green from black. Sevens. Seven for mankind. Sevens. I'm wearing Cezanne. Cezanne. A Parisian yeah. brand. And some black, my favorite Aritzia pants. And my favorite Conver black Converse. Well, I got my Vans on. Oh, but they look like sneakers. Now, did you get that reference? The Vans song? I got my Vans on, but they look like sneakers. Uh, no. Who sings that? Vans on, but they look like sneakers. It's like one of the first songs people would like jerk to, I think. Her. You don't, you know the jerk? You're a jerk. It's a great song. You sound great in my bug. Okay, bye.
It's raining right now. Like downpouring. Um, anyways, we have this amazing salad. Oh, it was an endive salad with like a Caesar salad dressing with beets. And it was one of the best salads I've ever had. Oh, so good. It was so good. And the, the dinner was just so, it was perfect. It's fantastic. She did a great job. Cookies came out at night. Gluten-free chocolate chip cookies and milk. So our friend Zach was like, the Carlisle way for milk is to have your milk in the freezer. It has to be ice cold, ideal if you have a little bit of ice on the top of it. And then he's telling us the story about milk. And I was like, wait, that is how I drank milk growing up. My dad would wake up in the morning when I was getting ready for school. He would go downstairs, put a glass of milk in the freezer, prepare my breakfast as I came down milk is frigid ice cold milk and I've never met anyone except for tonight that drank their milk like that oh, if you drink ice cold milk comment below we're gonna enjoy a nice little Friday Saturday Sunday coming up we're in Santa Monica right now and we are going to a new thrift store that just opened on Main Street which is recently our favorite thing to do so we're gonna check it out it's called Second Street Vintage and they're or just called Second Street, and they're all over. So, a new one in Santa Monica. On May. I'll show you guys what we find. We find some good things. Oh, we will. Oh, we will. Yeah, you're the, you're the thrifting, thrifting king. We love June Shine. The best place. We've made bulk juicing a habit lately, so I'm prepping all the veggies. It's a lot of work, but it's so worth it to just get it all done in one swoop. It's your jam? Caterpillar, a baby caterpillar. <laughs> what a wild ride he has had. I have washed these. I'm very afraid that I might have hurt his back. He's freaking out right now. Yeah, he's like, there's a giant monster. We just let him live with us? Rent free? <laughs> they don't know what to do. There's no nature to put him in. I'm gonna go walk my caterpillar. We're saving him. Oh my gosh, there's someone coming. Okay, here we go. It's good. Enjoy your life on the roof. Mm -hmm. 